return to the TrueNAS web UI on your primary system, eval01. We'll need to repeat the steps under Datasets to create the HomeDurs dataset to allow a home directory for our replication user to be created. Once you've created the dataset, move again to Credentials and Local Users. Click the Add button and we'll again create a new user, this time named Poll REPL for poll replication. Again, we'll disable the password to prevent interactive logins and we'll select a home directory under the new Home Durs folder. Check the box to create a home directory for this user specifically and again, uncheck Samba authentication before clicking Save. Move back to the Eval02 destination system. Click the Archive Pool option and create a data set for the poll replication named Poll Replica. We can once again change our compression level for this data set to a higher level. Because we're configuring a poll replication, we want to configure the replication job on our destination machine eval02. Click the Data Protection option. You'll notice that our push replication tasks aren't visible here as they run on eval01. Click Add, and this time for your source location, you'll choose On a Different System. Use the Create New option under SSH Connections. Give your SSH connection a logical name, such as eval02 from eval01, indicating the direction of flow. For the TrueNAS URL, Enter HTTPS and the IP or DNS name of your source machine. Change the admin username and password to the administrative credentials for signing into the TrueNAS web UI. For username, change it to PollREPL, the name of our dedicated replication user on eval01. Again, ensure you check enable passwordless sudo for ZFS commands. Choose to generate a new private key and click the Save button. We'll once again be asked to confirm the use of sudo for ZFS commands. Expand your source tree and again select Eval Data under your evaluation pool. You'll notice that in the destination, On This System has been selected and we don't have a way to change that. For our destination, expand the tree and under Archive Pool select your newly created Pull Replica dataset. Unlike push replication, we'll have to use a naming scheme to match the snapshots we wish to pull from our source. Again, we'll change this from Auto to Manual to retrieve the snapshot that we manually created earlier in our evaluation guide. Click on the Next button to continue. We'll once again change our replication schedule to Run Once, remove the Read Only on the destination dataset, and increase the retention length to a custom value of two months. Click on Start Replication once again. As before, if your state doesn't immediately change, simply navigate back to the TrueNAS dashboard and back to the Data Protection screen once more. We can confirm that a pull replication was performed from Evaluation to Archive, and once again to confirm, we can use the Datasets window to check the number of snapshots that exist under our new poll replica dataset.